Stats say one in four Australian women had experienced physical violence. For me, that stands out um, like a sore thumb because I have two daughters at home. My wife um, is there as well. That doesn't sit real well with me having daughters. Um, and violence in general doesn't sit real well with me. Yeah, the Tackling Violence Workshops have been going now for about uh, 10 years. Uh, we do a range of programs where we do PowerPoint presentations and education around where to get help, referrals and uh, what domestic violence is. Uh, what we do know is that these kind of programs and stuff need to be community driven and if we can empower a community uh, through this program using rugby league as a vehicle, um, hopefully we can see change. The success of the Tackling Violence program is we're able to go and spread these messages out to communities that may not be able to have these conversations often. Um, there's some communities that lack services and lack the opportunities to be able to come together and to have these yarns. It's really important as a group of people and as a society that we start to have these conversations and um, Tackling Violence Program really reaches out to communities to make that possible. I think um, with your ex-NRL players or union players, it doesn't matter what code, football in general, but CRL doing a very good job with it. Um, bringing out your ex-players, likes of Peachy and whatnot, they can come out and, um, yeah, like, we, they can be real tough players, They're some of the best players in the world, but then they can also come out and say, um, show the sensitive side and just talk about whatever they need to. And um, I think that's, obviously, when people see that come from people of the likes of Peachy, they think, oh, if they can, I can do it too. So they, so they soften up and um, can talk about their problems and issues. Yeah, no, I think it's great that the Country Rugby League has taken the Tackle and Violence program on board. It just shows their commitment to making the rural community a better, enjoyable and safe space for all kids to enjoy rugby league. But also the big thing is everyone's able to talk and communicate with one another and the stories and stuff learnt about they're able to take at home and talk about at the table with their children. And you know, that's the best part of it, sitting at home having a feed and talking about what's right and what's wrong. A couple of years ago when we first joined the Bow and Darling competition, I had to attend the, my first domestic violence seminar um, here and um, I didn't know half the stuff that they were talking about. I just I knew about domestic violence, but when you learn about all the statistics and everything that goes on, like um, on and off the field, and the fact that people don't like talking about it, and in this day and age when um, there's so many support groups and everything, and even like football might not be a support group, but it is at the same time, not an official support group, but. Um, yeah, I think it's really, really good what the Country Rugby League is doing. You know, years gone by, men didn't talk at all, let alone about domestic violence. But what we believe, if we can help, you know, break the silence, we can help break the cycle. You know, take away that shame factor, talk about emotions, let your kids grow up expressing their emotions and telling them places where to go and get help and stuff like that if they're ever doing it hard and not to be embarrassed by it.